So this is the belt sander. This here is probably the most used machine in the whole shop. Uh, what can I say about it? It's not really, uh, it makes the material nice and smooth, is what it does. Now there's different grips of sandpaper that we, we can use. Yeah, we have, we have 100, 150 or 80 grit. It all depends on how coarse using software or hardware. So let's just go through the machine first. Once again, open the dust collector. So all the dust, there's an actual, it collects the dust right at the head of, of the belt sander. So all the dust that's getting pulled in here, gets sucked into here, is sucked out into the dust collector outside. So if we wanted to make this edge here, nice and smooth, or if we wanted to put a shape on it, this is the machine that we use. So if we're starting, start button right here. Now if you wanted to, uh, if it was a, a smaller board, there's also a fence on the side here. So you can hold your board nice and flush. One doesn't want to pull up your hand. And you put even pressure. out on the bottom because that's the most used surface on, on the belt. But if, 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 if it gets worn out, there's knobs on the bottom. So you can adjust the table. If you loosen the knob on here, the knob on here, you tighten this screw clockwise, it raises the table. So you would be cutting on a better surface on the belt. And when it's reached that, the height that you want it, Tighten the knobs. And you need to use that part of the belt. Now, also on the back as well, if you wanted to cut a shape which had like an arc or something like that, well, you use the back of the belt sander, which I'm going to start and I'm show you. anything that you wanted. Also, you can also adjust the table as well on this side. You loosen this lever, you raise the table to whatever you want, and you can use more the better part of the belt at the top. Now on this one right here, as you can tell, it's not high enough. So there's also a tensioning knob, which allows this here to pull more on the blade, which will allow the blade, the belt to come up or go lower when you put it on. Now, if we also wanted to change the blade, this lever right here, we would loosen off and it loosens the pressure on the belt, right? Well, we don't need to do that right now. And you'd have to take this cover off first. So you loosen this cover off, loosen this off, the belt, pull that out, the belt comes off, put a new belt on, tighten it so it's even and you're ready to go again. And that's it for 